Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video we will be continuing explaining how to play the team that I posted the other day which is Shadow Dragonair with Vigoroth and Togetic as I explained that there are some close matchups where I think there is some things you need to be aware of as an example in this matchup which i still haven't perfected as much as i wanted to so in this matchup vigoroth gets a, a fast move in five counters 10 dragon breaths so the ideal play would be i'm sorry let me turn off my gotcha the ideal would be just to swap in after doing nine dragon breaths why nine dragon breaths if you swap on the ninth dragon breath which is for seconds and a half your Vigoroth will get a counter in and then you will catch a move and you will be able to get to the body slam before their own Vigoroth. So now I tried to catch the game dropped the frame there so my, my switch wasn't registered. Opponent caught my move which is now I am in a tough situation because this is a ghost and it doesn't do that much damage. So I'm going to try to catch after 4 hexes and we successfully get the catch and this is an ice punch uh, why did i try to chip because i want to put them in a rock slide range so this is not a rock slide range but i can get it with a few counters there so rock slide here doesn't KO, but it should put them in a low enough where i can just farm them all the way down so we're not shielding this i am sure we live two ice punches no we don't live a second one and i had enough health here to throw a body slam so i am not in as tough situation as it was uh, luckily uh, that's why we over farmed it no we now we have a body slam so now it's two versus one and this is this matchup here i got lots of questions why not running fairy wind this matchup here is the reason why i run steel wing i know steel wing is a legacy i know not everyone have it i myself used an elite fast tm i have like 20 of them so i'm like okay i can just use one here and you will see like togetic take a takes the first uh poison fang like a champ now we're just gonna get to another one if we shield if i don't shield i don't get to another one but hey this matchup isn't as bad and i'm sure a point was trying to catch i was aware of the catch so i over farmed a bit uh the, the battle is in 2x speed so you won't be able to see that so here again nine dragon breaths we catch so i swapped on the 10th dragon breath so i didn't get the counter and it's not as bad but this is how you're supposed to play it ideally you want to swap on the ninth dragon breath how do you count nine just count every time uh dragonair moved her or its uh, uh tail every time it uh, dragonair moves the tail that's a that's a that's a one count you want to count nine of them opponent here having as wireless so that means that my togetic will be able to do something i was i made a misplay there by instead of bringing my dragonair i think i should have waited the clock otherwise i would have been able to swap way faster now we're in a tough situation because of that uh, if the opponent calls my bait here i think i'm in a tough situation and they do call my bait so what's the play now well i have to shield uh i have the shield here and now we're just going straight aerial ace no need to ancient power at this point i think throwing ancient power to fish for the boost is not a bad idea but if you throw ancient power that's one more steel wing so it's not as ideal and here i was trying to go I think I should be I should farm although I shouldn't I think I shouldn't be throwing anything because now look at that we lose if I didn't throw my charge move I think they still get it because they have they have enough health so that's a GG to the opponent and now moving into the next one we have a Dragonair Mir in this Mir don't stay in just go Vigoroth uh, opponent he lags and I farm them all the way down if you lag I will farm you all the way down if you see me lagging just farm me all the way down okay the game has been like this for years so last thing i want you or i want myself to worry about is if my opponent having good connection or no so if you see me lagging feel free to farm me out all the way down i wouldn't be mad i wouldn't be tilted it's not your fault it's the it's the company's fault right uh opponent bringing a prime ape i don't want to be salty but prime ape isn't good isn't a good pokemon i know there is lots of youtube videos about showcasing how great this pokemon is and why it's the best pokemon it's not vigoroth is the best pokemon that's the reason so using vigoroth uh, using prime ape as a vigoroth answer it's not a vigoroth answer it's an answer if you have energy lead on your own vigoroth but you know what's the best vigoroth answer another vigoroth with energy lead a Vigoroth with energy lead is capable of beating all the fighters. So that's like how good Vigoroth is. 
So see, like they were, they needed to shield it. So now I'm going to Dragonair, and I'm gonna shield here. They have nine counters. So like if I shield this, uh, they are three away from Ice Punch. But I'm, I'm not gonna wait until then. I'm just gonna throw because I don't want to take a Night Slash. And if they shield, just swapping. I don't, they don't have a shield Yasser. Uh, opponent having a pillow swine so all i need to do is just throw this aqua tail and then farm all the way down opponent brought in the dust clubs so i can take two ice punches very comfortably this flying egg is so freaking good i don't know guys i feel like i've been pushing lots of tragic videos and it is another one coming after so did i change your mind look at that farming down the pillow swine another pillow swine so you win the one here this is why you need the shadow dragon non shadow dragon is not capable of making this a uh, comfortable matchup where here like you win the zero you win the zero you win the one you win the two i don't play the two because uh the key to win in this cup is basically having energy lead on your vigoroth and you will see me going for the catch here so now i think i'm in a very comfortable situation why i managed to catch a move and my dragon here is loaded yes they caught a move but i get my energy back so that catch technically wasn't as effective as they were hoping so just going to throw the this rock slide i think a body slam after this can do it no it can't do it those clubs is so bulky I'm going to actually throw a rock slide here. I don't trust the body slam to do it. And I would rather have some health to chip whatever they bring. And they decided to bring in a Vigoroth. And that was healthy. My Vigoroth was healthy enough to get to another body slam. So this is actually a very good play. So now I'm going back to my own Dragonair. And I'm going to throw this body slam. If they she no shield, I will swap out. If they shield, I will swap out as well. So we're not going to shield this. And they bring in the bill pillow swine. Look at that. Look at that. Who is the counter? Guys, look at look just at the damage. If you have a uh, uh, if you have a fairy wind Togetic, you won't be able to farm this thing down. Look at look at the damage. See, I can just safely shield here and win this game. Uh fairy wind, uh, this thing won't be able to win. A steel wing, uh, this thing is capable of more than just winning. And now one more steel wing, and we should be good to go another game hunter how do you play hunter just farm it all the way down shield once and farm all the way down if they are smart they usually throw a move and then dip out yeah they throw the shadow punch that's the only move that they will they will be able to throw and now i think i should be winning this game no matter what happens because i have a very healthy dragon here. and you guys hear me heard me saying this million times healthy dragon here equal easy game okay so we were able to throw two moves now since they they use their shield there is no point of staying in so i'm just gonna go to my own vigoroth and soak all their energy uh i think if we land this rock slide we should be in a good situation right uh an exeter actually does enough damage to ko there i wish i have one more hp to throw the body slam going back to my own dragon as i know i can farm all the way down and i shouldn't be able to get to a move as you can see and now all we care about is we don't need to shield shielding is fine honestly but they only get to one nuke let's just say it that way uh rock slide aerial ace does ko here and uh, that's a game uh how do you guys like the evolution cup i know youtube viewers genuinely don't like you uh vigoroth cups but to be honest all i'm like the reason i'm pushing more videos using the same team is because i want you guys to be comfortable of of comfortable 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 of using vigoroth and vigoroth cups and if you guys see like the, the previous video this video and the upcoming one i will be focusing on how to play against the opposing big and how to utilize your own vigoroth so you will be comfortable and after this video and the next one you will be like you will be tagging niantic to give us more vigoroth cups because to be honest those are like the best cups because like match lasts only two minutes these are like the best battles we could have asked for like, do you want to go back to Ultra League where it will take you six minutes to go 3 2? Eventually, six minutes per bat battle, uh, three, th 30 minutes to finish one set, and the one set will either be 2 3 or 3 2. Yeah, that's Ultra League, let's be honest. Uh, here they have his wireless, and you know what, what we have for that? Again, Steel Wing. <laughs> Togetic. <laughs> okay, Steel Wing, Togetic. They got like some energy, but it doesn't matter. We can comfortably tank two body slams. 
Uh, I noticed that Body Slam from Shadow Dragoner, two of them almost KOs from Swilus, you can comfortably tank two and this thing won't be adding up as you as they would hope so now just going straight aerial ace and this flying egg is just too good of a pokemon just don't give it a, don't put it against i think a charger bug is the worst matchup everything else is manageable like i've won so many matchups against uh gold bat it's just i think it's just a charger bug so that's why we have dragonair and technically vigoros vigoros is not a bad charger bug answer but it's not a bad so here you count nine tails tails like you see it's moving fast and then you swap opponent didn't throw which is actually a smart play by them but to be honest i should still be able to get to my body slam before the opponent was trying to catch on their own Dragon. I don't find this an ideal play because I should be able to get to another one, especially since they are non-shadow. And they 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 shielded this, which mean I have to go back. No, I'm just gonna go to Togetic and farm them all the way down. Wait, why didn't I go Togetic? Well, to be fair, if I go Dragon it, I can just shield once farm all the way down. So it's actually not a bad play. Uh, I did one Dragon Breath to throw in good timing, just in case they were trying to throw. So I can benefit from that and opponent didn't shield and they ended up getting denied from getting another charge move. So in this matchup here, they have their own charger bug and this Dragonair will be able to sweep their team. Look at that. This Dragonair took down the Vigoroth, took down the Dragonair and now all left is charger bug. We're going to catch an X scissor. Do we get, do we get it? We do get it. So now we can tank a discharge by the way and we can just go straight for the ancient power. I chickened out why I'm not throwing ancient power because this one is enough. See guys, I didn't chicken out. That was a calculated play. Moving into the next one. If they stay in, you play the two. You just shield, okay? Why? Because this is where we care about this thing. We have a dragon to kill the charger bus. Uh, as I said, you throw right before they get to the fifth voltage switch. Because if they no shield, you can kill them with one dragon breath. If they shield, you should win. Yeah. You should still win. So I'm going to, th to throw this. I don't know about throwing this, but I feel like throwing this is better than throwing from Vigoroth because now I can just count it all the way down. I don't know how good this is, but I think this is not as bad as I might think because I should live this one. The hope is to get to a... What's this? Yeah. Oh my, what's this play? I mean, if the opponent is counting, they will shield. Okay, this is where I lose. Uh, Graveler in the back, when I don't have shields, is actually tough for the team to beat. Because they will just shield and rock slide all the way down. Rock throw, sorry. And now it's just a race. Uh, I think if I swapped earlier, I could have just gotten to the uh, Ancient Power here. And with a couple Dragon Breath, Ancient Power should do enough damage to KO. But I'm not counting for an alolan graveler so another pillow swan here i found that people will always throw on six and then they will swap out and here they swapped into their own vigoroth so i'm going to try to catch their own body slam because i need to get some energy back at least and we get the catch and the counter so this is how it's supposed to play it now if you will notice i will be getting my own body slam for the get to two See? So this is the ideal way to play Dragonair into Vigoroth. Swap on the ninth Dragon Breath. Opponent is forced to shield. I don't know about shielding this because I feel like there is like a, a Graveler in the back. Uh, we It was a Simul KO, so it's not as bad. It's it's fine as long as we get the Pillow Swine again. Uh, if, if, okay, against Pillow Swine, the second move always throw Body Slam just in case they are trying to catch. And here they brought in dust clubs and opponent over farmed a lot so i am gonna shield in case it's boulder boulder guys so the bolter guys am i saying it weird i feel like it's not bolter guys okay this uh, shadow dust clubs is actually not as bulky as you may think like i can farm it down if this is non shadow there is no world where i could be able to farm down and this should be a good game and that was the last battle. So yeah, thank you so much everyone for watching. This is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys like these battles. And hopefully you guys are learning this team. And yeah, if you like the content, please leave a like on the channel. Make sure to subscribe and see you in the next video. Where I will be explaining how to play this team again and again. Until all you guys stop complaining about the Vigoroth. And you will be more comfortable of playing Vigoroth. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And see you in the next, see you in the next video. Peace.